Hello YouTube, this is Puck. Today we are on the Samsung S Wi-Fi 5 player. This is a 5 inch uh, tablet. Well, it's not a tablet and it's not a phone. But of course you can use it as a phone. And it looks and feels as the Samsung Note. So if you were planning to buy a Note, you can also buy a Samsung S. But then again, you won't be able to place phone calls. Although there are ways to place phone calls over Wi-Fi because uh, this has no 3G, you uh, can still uh, use this as a phone. So, you know. Um, I rooted this. It uh, comes with um, version 2.3.6 maximum. And I yesterday rooted this phone or this, yeah, how shall we call it, tablet. I rooted the tablet and I installed SlimCat. A slim cat was not so easy to install because we would we could uh, we could just install it like that but then it won't work it would just hang to the screen we all need to install another kernel and as you can see this is Android 4.4.2 so this is like one of the latest versions of um, of slim it's unofficial of course but uh, yeah this is it it's really nice uh, as you can see um, the recording is also going very good uh, what can you do with this ROM well this is of course for rooted phones if you rooted your phone then you can use this ROM and um, if you look at my look and feels you will see that it's like an iPhone that's because I'm an iPhone user and <laughs> Uh, this is giving me the looks and feels of uh, the iPhone 6 <laughs> so it's all good uh, as you can see we are very powerful because we have the Play Store everything is there and yeah what I actually did I installed some apps to get these looks and feels you must get uh, a program called Aspire and where can I find it for you I want to show you it uh, these are the other launchers, let me see, oh there they are, no, I think I hide them all, but let's go into the app store and then I will show you how to get it, if I can find my app store, my app store just disappeared, oh no, it was right there, <laughs> there it is sometimes you also must get used to the icons a bit part two I'm gonna show you what I installed to get uh, look like this what we did we installed uh, Aspire Aspire uh, Aspire and then you will find the Aspire Launcher 7 as you can see I installed it but I installed a different lock screen because uh, the one that I love the old-fashioned one from iPhone that one was expired and uh, wait let's go to the home screen here and let me show you the the new lock screen um, see where it is new lock screen here it is and this new lock screen I think it's one of the best for Android if you um, want to install like an iPhone look and feel you can enable the locker um, the screen lock file up here you can choose iOS 6 or iOS 7 um, I like the iOS 6 up here we can see we can put on the battery percentage and here the home key opera name I change it into Pucktel the unlock text will say welcome Puck so you can really personalize this uh, thingy you can enable the lock sounds that's really cool and um, yeah you can also change the wallpaper up here you can choose for all sorts of wallpapers you know so I just left it the way it was and let's take a look at it we turn off the home screen and we get back and if you have something like this in your hand 
you know iphone users will really get jealous really <laughs> because they've been like oh this is beautiful how did you do that oh this is ios 7 how did you do that you know but um yeah no big deal if you're wondering how to get rid of the advertising banners that come on top here you know um well if you root at your phone you must install a firewall and all these programs we will go by one by one i will give them all a special uh, little um, little section up here you can see that i block all the things that i don't think that i think that do, that have no business with the internet i did not block too much yet but um you know something like a flashlight i don't see no reason why it should go to the internet you know and some other stuff you know i'm not using i also uh, have an uninstaller i also have an uninstaller that i want to show you and this uninstaller will help you to remove apps that you don't really want you know uh, let me see where it is. It's called root on installer Let me see where I have it. I think I, I'm not sure if I already installed it on this phone And there's also an issue I cannot search on my phone with this new Aspire launcher. I don't know what these people did Sometimes they are updating uh, apps and the apps just get bad, you know, they don't get better. They get worse um, Let's let's see where it is I have to find it I cannot find it and uh, there is one little thing I want to remark one little remark I want to make about this slim cat 4.4.2 uh, uh, Android is that the Wi-Fi connection you know is not the same as before you know before I had uh, a better stronger Wi-Fi connection when I'm in my bed this thing is receiving weak Wi-Fi that while on 2.3.6 the Wi-Fi strength was really full I also have the idea that um, this is using more power now but then again I'm also more busy with it now so you know it hasn't been uh, doing too much but it was on all the time for more than three days now and the battery is still half full so you know I shouldn't complain too much up here you can see that you can remove Android apps things that uh, you don't want you know things that you think that like why is it uh, installed like the Samsung apps you will be able to remove all of them you know? and um, well you should be careful what to remove because some parts some things that you remove might break your installation so your cam won't work you know but if you install another cam program then suddenly the cam works again you know so things like that so in, in fact here you can like uninstall several stuff you know so that's what this is for root uninstaller so if you're like wanted to block uh, advertisings you wanted to block apps you know you need a firewall and if you want to remove apps you need root on installer of course you need to be rooted if you don't want to root your phone and you're on 2.3.6 and you don't want to root your phone the hard way the way I did it you know then uh, what you should do is um, let me see where is my file manager here it is then just go uh, install this program here for you I will put it in the in the download section for you in the description and just install Frama root and Frama root will root your device instantly with the uh, with uh, this algorithm that it has inside it will root this player and you will have a great rooted phone that you can you know install programs on that normally you could not install such as the firewall and uh, the web key etc um, to you know let the thing run also the root uh, root also apps as uh, root on installer uh, web key you know um, firewall etc they won't be able to install if you don't root your phone so you must root your phone first do it with Framer root and then you can run, run all these uh, little apps you know um, to get these looks and feels of course you don't need to be uh, rooted 
so you know you can do this uh, straight off from the app store just look for aspire launcher and go for um, the locker that I just showed you I think it's one of the best it's I think it's the best this one here the iPhone 5s locker just just look it up in the Play Store install it and uh, create your own little iPhone 7 what is it 6 you know I love it this is a pleasure to hold in your hand and to work with uh, also for older people this is a real nice RAM class you can make the capitals bigger you can let everything show much bigger you know and it will work just fine for you although you can also do that with the other ROMs I think so this was my little review about the slim cat I hope you liked it if you want it uh, I will put all the links including the uh, how to do it and um, yeah if you like this video rate it thumbs up and I say till my next experiment on the Samsung S uh, discovering more Android apps. Bye now.